are the Jehovah's Witnesses about to become the modern day Jeremiah's? It's an interesting question, but why am I asking it? Well, let's look at uh, Jeremiah's message. He was known as the prophet of doom, wasn't he? So are the Jehovah's Witnesses about to have their message changed from a message of hope, which is what it currently is at the moment, to a message of doom? A message of this is what's going to happen next that kind of message and how indeed will they give out this message without coming under considerable hostility for this is what I would expect for anybody that gives out this kind of message now let's look at the kind of character that Jeremiah was he certainly wasn't a very popular character was he you can imagine that he just was a loner he never would have been invited out anywhere uh, because he was forever telling the kings and the wealthy people of his time that they needed to change their ways uh, they couldn't expect to keep receiving Jehovah's blessing and protection and help unless they changed their ways and he made it abundantly clear to them he also had to tell the city of Nineveh that they were going to be destroyed and he was unwavering with this message telling now I expect that the Jehovah's Witnesses will be giving out a similar message when they're preaching when it comes to an end I expect them not to find it easy I don't think anybody could give out a message like that and find it easy but I also expect them to develop a certain amount of hatred for Satan's world and those that are in Satan's world so that would make giving out this new message a lot easier for them um, it would be difficult to give out a message to someone that you were fond of someone that you considered a friend but if you start to hate someone then you can deliver much more hostile messages and I expect that that will happen in the final last days so Jeremiah he didn't really have a lot of time did he for hypocritical forms of religion and no doubt just about everywhere he looked at that time he'd have a perfect example of hypocrisy because there wouldn't have been that many people that were God fearing and trying to lead a Christian lifestyle so Jeremiah was unwavering wasn't he, he he wanted to do what his heart told him and often often this would really really greatly upset those around him but he nevertheless he plodded on and he faithfully delivered the messages in which he believed had to be delivered so they're also talking about the message for today and the relevance of this message uh, please note people that the page that I'm on on the internet is not a Jehovah's Witness article it is something that I have found on the tube I think it's only fair that I look at different sources away from our natural home if you like so the message of Jeremiah is relevant in our time because we see approaching judgments of the end times now this is really interesting this bit here so much so that I like to just highlight it so peace peace where there is no peace hmm interesting at the moment I don't see anybody declaring peace because we're on a war footing aren't we you know the relationship with Russia is at an all-time low and looks like we're going to renew hostilities with North Korea if we find out that they have been lying and they are continuing in their nuclear program I think that's gonna cause a lot of tension so how are we gonna get peace peace where there is no peace is it gonna be that someone is going to prophesy 
that we've got peace and no doubt that this will be a false prophet and this is where perhaps the Jeremiah class will then have to say that there is no peace this peace that you're declaring is a pseudo peace and it is not going to last and that the only thing that is coming is God's wrath is this where the Jeremiah class are going to come in it's interesting very very interesting but I do believe that um, things are going to start to unravel shortly and the composite sign is all going to slot in and it's all going to happen within a very very small space of time I've felt this for quite a while now and I don't really think I should change my opinion on it because there is a lot happening in the world to suggest that we're going to embark on a completely new direction 